We were just talking about this yesterday, but we have more news about Hasbro, PulseCon, and what they could be talking about. Will there be some information about the future? Will it be about Cosmic Fury? Let's talk about it. Break it down. Hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! Cause you know things ain't always sweet When you out here in these streets But my morpher when it morphs I made a fake it is always a good time when you put out a video and then the next day there's some more news about that video. Today, Hasbro put out a little statement about the Power Rangers panel for Hasbro PulseCon and they said, Ranger Nation, tune in for the Power Rangers panel at Hasbro PulseCon with Emily and Jordan. You don't want to miss out on all the exciting toy news and a sneak peek of the highly anticipated Power Power Rangers Cosmic Fury series, which will have a special guest appearance by executive producer Simon Bennett. It's going to be more phenomenal. Also tune in during the show for a reveal of the Power Rangers Pulse exclusive products. That's pretty cool. We're going to break down everything, but then we also had another line that someone sent in and it said, throughout the day's virtual event, Viewers can look forward to special guest appearances from special guests including Simon Bennett, executive producer, and other special programming during the show. What is that special programming? Now, I do want to talk about that just for a second. We have Emily and Jordan from Hasbro, but we don't have any Power Rangers. And you guys have to remember that we are in the middle of a writer's and actor strike, meaning that most likely these actors that are on the show aren't going to be able to hype it up and post as much about it. I know that's all a stipulation with SAG. You can't necessarily talk about current projects right now, which it hurts everybody. It, it hurts the show. It hurts the actors and actresses, cast members that have put in the time and effort into it. Possibly one of the biggest projects they've ever been a part of and they can't talk about it. Yes, that is kind of tough. I understand everything that is going on, but you can't tell me that, you know, these actors, they want to talk about it. If I was in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury, I'd be wanting to tell everybody and push it and they can't. So I don't know if that's going to affect anything when it comes to numbers, but it is most certainly something to keep your eye on. Another thing that we saw in here was the Hasbro PulseCon exclusive product. So we are going to be doing a video right after this one. We're going to be talking about the Omega Rangers 4-pack. And that thing looks amazing. I bet my bottom dollar that is going to be part of the reveal. I think the Master Morpher is also going to be a part of it. There are a few things down the line that we've been waiting on that they're going to give to us on this day. I think it's going to be you, you, one of the few big days of Power Rangers left until, you know, until we get something with the reboot. Think about it, guys. We don't know what's going on in 2024, and it doesn't sound like by this that they're going to tell us. This sounds like they're going to give us some reveals, and they're going to talk about Cosmic Fury, something that comes out a week after the PulseCon event, right? So, like, they're trying to push things that are coming out right away, but I don't think they're going to be talking about the future. It is going to kind of be a weird, dark time after Cosmic Fury because we don't know what in the hell is actually going to happen with Power Rangers. It doesn't seem like they're going to talk about it. So this might be our big celebration for a while, guys. 
we have some reveals we're gonna find out some cosmic fury news we're gonna talk to simon bennett and then seven days after that we get cosmic fury and we are excited we have been hyping up this show for a while one because you know we're a power rangers channel but two it just looks dope i like what they're doing with it everything that i've heard so far sounds cool and i really appreciated power rangers dino fury so if they can take that and elevate that and make it better i am a hundred percent on board i'm excited to see if they have anybody else they said that you know simon bennett's gonna be a part of it and they kind of alluded to you know other special guests or special programming so it's interesting will there just be a few clips from the show what are we gonna be doing here it sounds kind of fun like we don't know who's all gonna be there and since we can't get the rangers they might have to give us some clips something to kind of make up for and be like well we, if we can't bring in the six cosmic fury rangers or seven then let's do our own thing or are they going to announce fern finally what are they going to do man i am excited what are your thoughts let me know in the comments speaking of the comments let's see what the fans are saying davin said hasbro has been real quiet about the future of power rangers during the neo saban era they would announce ahead of time the next season what was coming in the next year oh yeah they did for pretty much every season i swear even in the disney years there would be like a little advertisement at the end of the series finale that'd be like coming in 2005 spd like it was cool and i miss that kind of stuff but for once it is nice to kind of be in the dark it's not great but I'm trying to be optimistic and for years we always knew what was going to happen now I think with this reboot we have no idea and it's partially scary but partially kind of cool because they could do anything they want to with this one I'm just hoping that no matter what it is it is a good show and it can continue to stabilize the brand and make this a top brand again because that is what it's all about man we want power rangers to live on not just 30 years you know we're celebrating 30 but i want to be here in 20 years and celebrate 50 of living on like we just didn't die out you know it'd be awesome garfield said i sure hope the news will be about the future of power rangers as well as some more seasons to be adapted from the sentai like king oger for example yeah i would love to see something like that bro i swear i would but i I don't want to get your hopes up i don't know what they are going to reveal but it doesn't sound like how this write-up was put together that they're talking about the future in any way it doesn't sound like it's going to be a power ranger state of the union if you will i wish it was and if they do i'll be so happy i will be ecstatic if they give us some type of news about the future even if they just give you a couple lines just address the elephant in the room we know all these things are going down we know you guys are leaving new zealand where's that going to be and then we've got the rider strike going on but then we have the news about Lionsgate. but power rangers is staying with hasbro with their own entertainment division or something like that there's a lot going on so yes power ranger fans would like to hear about it but i don't think we are honestly i think this is the stuff that us power ranger youtubers try to listen to the investor calls and stuff like that and keep our eyes out but i don't think they're gonna talk about that next week when this actually goes down samurai spirited said i hope we get positive news about the future of the franchise like having the adaptions and the reboot side by side yo that'd be cool man i really hope we get some information about the future i just I don't want to get y'all's hopes up man i mean last month with power month we had a great time over here uh, on the fan club but there wasn't really a lot of noise so i'm thinking there's they were saving everything that they have left they're gonna debut it next week and then that's gonna be kind of it for a little bit of power rangers now it would feel amazing if they would talk about the future so we can get a little hype because you guys are right 
I just don't know, man. Sean Henderson said big news next week. Yeah, I think there will be some type of big news. We will find out something that will get us all talking because that's what these events do, especially when you're seven days out from a premiere of a new show and you can't necessarily market it like you normally do with the actors and get them on here. I mean, there's been a few live streams in the past with, with these Pulse Cons and Fan First Fridays and stuff where they've brought on cast members from the show to promote the project etc this is the first time in a long time that they can't do that at all so they will have to hype up this event and give you something to talk about i'm just hoping that the fans appreciate this we might not get another one of these for a while so don't go on there complaining if we get a master morpher we get the omega rangers we get a few more cool toys and we get some cosmic fury news i'll be happy because that's all i'm expecting and anything on top of that is a bonus okay i'm in a weird situation where i want to believe they're gonna give me everything but i know that that's not true i know that's probably not gonna happen so i am coming in with lower expectations just so you guys don't have to see me in a video later down the line where i sound disappointed if you will so let's adjust the expectations let's see what happens but let's just expect that we will be getting things that we already know about and previews and kind of hype and built up for Cosmic Fury. There might be some clips, there might be some fun things, but don't expect to see the cast as of right now. It doesn't sound like we're getting the cast. I hope I'm wrong. Like, it would be so freaking sweet. They're like, oh, we, we found a loophole and we can get them for this because that's happened a few times. There's certain situations where they've been able to kind of promote something here or there. Not the Power Rangers, but I've seen other bigger actors do this. But at the same time, I've also seen other actors have projects release and they weren't able to really promote it at all so it is interesting how it is going to go this is a crazy time to be a fan it is still exciting because we have new toys about to drop we do have a new show about to drop it's going to be fun let's appreciate this moment guys i want to shout out all of the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content you are the real mvps and the reason why we can continue to make videos like this one thank you guys so much and we will see you next time peace i want to give a special shout out to the gold ranger members anime king nick chaos draco the arctic operator dig wyron tim rage roderick hare miguel ortiz let's talk sports papleon oger roderick ham jason marazis willie maloney lewis cairns salima ramirez danny nascimento skur stephen heffelman Thomas Franco, Savage Sal, Tim Brown, Sean Schiffer, The Cosmic Nerd 24, Bruce Walters, and Austin White. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger power up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys. And thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. Go. We, we have are been requested, requested by, by the, the fan, fan club, club to say something funny. funny.